today we will learn to find out a optimum value of the transportation mode model in last last lecture we did a various solution techniques of transportation model and from that we can get IBFS which is known as initial basic feasible solution today we will check that IBFS value is a optimum one so let's start our session it is known as modified distribution method means modi method and it is also known as uv method so for that we have taken an example that is a company has a factory is at f1 f2 and f3 and it has a various warehouses and requirements of warehouses with the supply and demand so we have to solve this example through the vm method in last lecture so here we have uh, by vm method we can get the allocation at point 8 that is 120 at point uh, 60 that is 90 at point 12 that is 60 at point 40 that is 14 at point 60 140 total five allocations are there for using a modi modified method first we have to check given solution is degenerate or not degenerate so for that we have to take one equation that is m plus n minus 1 is equal to number of allocation where m is equal to number of columns and n is equal to number of rows so here the transportation cost for that is 5920 for checking the degeneracy here total 5 3 columns and 3 rows are there so for that 3 plus 3 minus 1 that is the answer is equal to 5 and here the number of allocation is also the 5 so given problem is a non degenerate problem so we can apply a modi method over it clear so next for modi method what we have to do simple we have to take allocated cells for the iteration means we have to make one table in form of u and v component that is v1 v2 and v3 u1 u2 and v3 and here we have to take a uh, allocation cells here 0.8 0.12 60 and 60 by using this allocating cells we have to make one equations in form of u and v here the equation we have to take u1 plus v1 is equal to allocating cells that is a point 60 so here u1 plus v1 is equal to 60 u2 plus v1 is equal to 40 u2 plus v2 is equal to 8 u3 plus v3 is equal to 60 here the five equations are there for solving this equation we have to take or we have to assume some value as a zero like take u1 is equal to 0 so we put that u1 value into the first equation means u1 plus u1 is equal to 60 here u1 is equal to 0 so v1 is equal to 60 put that v1 value into the second equation u2 plus v1 is equal to 40 here so here v1 is equal to 60 then u2 is equal to minus 2 that u2 value put into the third equation from here we can get v2 is equal to 10 here u1 plus v3 where u1 is equal to 0 so v3 is equal to at 12 point 12 so from v3 we can get u3 as a value as a 4 so what is the next iteration so keeping in mind very carefully that in next iteration we have to take a value as a non allocating cells clear it first what we have to do in a first iteration with the u and v component we have to take a allocating cells and in next iteration we have to take a non allocating cell means the value of this this and this so that next iteration we have to put that value v1 is equal to 60 v2 all the values we we, we will find, uh, all the values which we found out previously so we have to put that on allocating cells as a point 20 80 24 and 20 we have to put a right tick mark on allocating cells here here so 
for next for next iteration what we have to do so for non allocating cells minus summation of u and v components so from that we get we have to get something value after that for optimizing we have to check that value is a positive or negative clear so here we have to put 20 minus v2 plus u1 component means 10 plus 0 is equal to 10 so we can get that value as a 10 clear next for point 80 what we have to do here 20 minus 2 that is a 10 so 80 minus 10 that is a value as a point 8 clear next at point u3 that is a value is equal to 26 here 60 plus 4 that is a value 20 so 26 minus 20 that is a value 6 at the same at point 24 we have take 10 plus 4 the answer is equal to 10 here so after finding out all the value what we have to do we have to check all the values are non negative if the all the values are non negative means previously ibfs value is a optimum value if we got any value as a negative then what we have to do we have to see in a next example so here no any cells have a negative value so IBFS is a optimum value means here the transportation cost is the same as a five nine two zero. Clear? So that is the Modi method. So what we have to do in Modi method first, we have to check degeneracy. After checking the degeneracy, we have to make one table by considering only allocating cells and make an equation in form of U and V component. after that we have to take some value as a zero like as u1 is equal to zero and we have to find out the others value so we have to find out the others value what we have to do simple we have to put that uh, all values in a next iteration and for next iteration we have to take a non allocating cell value after that not allo uh, allocating cell value we have to take one equation in that equation we have to put the value and among all the values all values are non negative means uh, ibfs is a optimum value clear thank you